Yeah. So anyway, all the way through my life, about 11 years old, they ended up like they ended up no Christianity in my family. They got divorced, and by 11 and a half, my mom like she was she couldn't handle me. I was rebellious. I was rowdy. I was there was no Christianity in my family the whole way around. And so I went to a place called the Masonic Homes. A place called the Masonic Homes, and uh, I grew up there uh, for about five and a half years in a place where the Freemasons the Freemasons sponsor it. I went in there, and I was fully addicted by 12. At Seway, all the way through my life, about 11 years old, they ended up like they ended up no Christianity in my family. They got divorced, and by 11 and a half, my mom like she was she couldn't handle me. I was rebellious. I was rowdy. I was there was no Christianity in my family the whole way around. And so I went to a place called the Masonic Homes. A place called the Masonic Homes, and uh, I grew up there um, for about five and a half years in a place where the Freemasons the Freemasons sponsor it. I went in there and. Okay, well, can we get a close up on that? Yeah, what, what is the profession? Yeah, which profession are we talking about? Just look at it. Is it a legal profession? Of course it's legal. It's only one profession. I'm trying to read it. Okay. Uh, it's too many comments. Ah, that's too bright. Of course I am. Okay. You're not secret. Why are you doing this? Well, you might as well put your pinky out when you drink the drink. Of course I am. Why? Your pinky out. You know, the secret is here. Let's just stop it. Tools and the Everyone wears it. Everyone wears it. The slippers. The slippers. The slippers. The slippers. Those he doesn't wear. Those he doesn't wear. The clippers. Yeah. As I was blinded by success. I warn you, Holmes. If you pursue this matter... In the pursuit of criminals, one learns their devices. I say, Holmes, what is this mumbo jumbo? Are archaic rituals preserved by the 33rd degree members of the secret order of Freemasons? So everybody does know about the Bethel Lord of the Rings video already. But what's the symbolism behind the Lord of the Rings video from Bethel? I'm one of those people who believes that words mean things. So when Chris Valentin says that Todd White is killing it at Bethel, there's a problem. Not many people know what it is. I didn't know what it was. But it's the Masonic organization. And I'm in there and I have no clue. I mean, I break into the Masonic temple just to run around and jump on their chairs and stuff. I don't know that stuff. And I have no idea. I joined the Marines after I got kicked out of there and I went AWOL after boot camp. I ran away and didn't know what it was. Not many people know what it is. I didn't know what it was. But it's the Masonic organization. And I'm in there and I have no clue. I mean, I break into the Masonic temple just to run around and jump on their chairs and stuff. I don't know that stuff. And I have no idea. I joined the Marines. My life, about 11 years old, they ended up, like, they ended up no Christianity in my family. They got divorced. And by 11 and a half, my mom, like, she was, she couldn't handle me. I was rebellious. I was rowdy. I was... There was no Christianity in my family the whole way around. And so I went to a place called the Masonic Homes, a place called the Masonic Homes, and uh, I grew up there um, for about five and a half years in a place where the Freemasons, the Freemasons sponsor it. I went in. It really is time to bring some clarity. Sorry, needed to be broken down. And Father did not give me the words to complete the task, so I did not attempt at the time. But it really is time to bring some clarity around this religion slash organization. Now, history likes to claim that Freemasonry came into existence in the early 18th century, around the year 1717. I believe that's the claim. But this is not correct. Freemasonry is the ancient mystery religion that has been passed down over centuries since ancient Babylon, where we find Nimrod and Tammuz. I covered this in part one. This knowledge didn't go away for thousands of years and come back in the 18th century. No. To understand better... Let's go back to part 66 of this series. This is when we spoke about the Knights Templar. 
They were also known as the Poor Fellow Soldiers of Christ, or a Catholic military order founded as Soldiers of Christ and of the Temple of Solomon, and also known Master Ryan, this is the evening of your... Your father. Bethel Templar Knighting Ceremony, the SSM Graduation. States of America, the Sovereign Military Order of the Temple of Jerusalem. Okay, guys, I did that again. So I went over to the backup channel. The channel is youtube.com forward slash wake up reading, and I created a Bethel Freemason Habits playlist. This is all of the videos from the Exposing Bethel page that show you the habits of Freemasonry inside of Bethel. All the design aspects. When Bill Johnson's doing the most excellent master's hand sign. Bethel's sundial bridge Baphomet design. Brian Johnson uh, Baphomet worship. That title and thumbnail will change pretty soon. I'm going to rename it to have Brian included in it. Um, Sean Foyt, when he's going after Count Zinzendorf, that is Mustard Seed Freemasonry. Um, we already know about Bethel's Alabaster Prayer House. We know about Kenneth Copeland since he just visited Bethel like in the last couple of months. Stephen Furtick, I had to add this inside because this is how you actually deter how you can find everybody. If you go and start looking for the chevrons in logo designs in churches, you will find the 33rd degree Freemasons because chevrons equal 33 and the Masons are speaking in signs and symbols. This is a more in-depth um, breakdown of what's going on with Bethel's Alabaster Prayer House. In this one, we have Bill Johnson is a Freemason with a testimony from a friend that says that she witnessed her and her dad um, witness, uh, com had a conversation with Bill Johnson about him needing to leave Freemasonry. That's at the beginning of the video. You can go read it yourself. And Bill Johnson saying that there's no place better to have a revival than inside a Freemason Lodge. Um, how the Sundial Bridge and Let Us Worship is phallic worship that's, these, that's connected to Freemasonry. NAR Freemason, this is all hand signs that are made inside the New Apostolic Reformation. How Sozo lines up with Freemasonry. How NAR leaders get blue angels, just like the Freemasons get blue angels. Um, this one, the why NAR leaders don't narc on each other. This is actually an old French film, but it gives you the idea of how the inside of the backside of the secret society works. As far as when Todd Bentley told us that he helped to start this group and that this that uh, anytime he wanted to, he could be the whistleblower on this group. That's why he's being allowed back into the group because he has the dirt that would get all of these guys busted. Oh no. Oh. 
Let's see if I'm still recording. I think so. I hope so. Okay. For anybody who has questions, you cannot be a Freemason and a Christian. There is no such thing. Freemasonry is, a, is the religion tasked with spreading the light of Lucifer to the world. So, you can't be both. NAR Freemason hand signs and the occult church. Bethel Templars, the hidden agenda of the Templars, Bethel Sozo, and how it lines up with Scientology. And just a random logo of one of the people that advertises and on Bethel's pages all the time. Um, he hosts uh, King's Table um, card games on Michelli. Um, he hosts a bunch of Bethel's um, game nights, including all the Halloween stuff and all that kind of stuff. So his logo is an IXXI, which is another Templar logo. Go look it up. And the logo that... Anyways, sun's going down, Sabbath is over, I'm going to go inside and relax. Y'all have a great day.